I mean, yeah, playing against power characters isn't that hard. Um, Alright, I think what I'm going to do, uh, and I, I really probably shouldn't be saying this, but I'm just going to continuously record and then just cut it. Because, uh, like, um, if I've ever said that, like, oh, I've been recording for, like, an hour straight, even though I say that, like, it, that, uh, I do have a little pause. It's not like I'm just continuing the game. Normally, what, what I'll do is if I say that I'm recording continuously, I, um, I'm just recording the 11 minutes, then saving it, not saving it to my computer or anything, just saving the file, and then just jumping right back into quick recording so I do have a little section like a little window of maybe like a minute or two where I'm not actually speaking and I can regain my breath and if I wanted to go out and get a drink so maybe some people don't consider that uh, continuous but you know I do but this I think will actually be like continuous I think I'm just gonna keep on going and then divide it that's what I did for the uh, extras on uh, strikers but Mm, man, I sound like I'm listening to myself talk, and I, I just like I feel like I have this like monotone going on. And I mean, I know certain people don't like that, but I know a lot of people like exciting things. Just ask Slim Kirby; he he gets comments like that all the time. Although I personally don't mind it. Um, I know some people do, and you know, don't want to upset too many people. Which actually brings me back to uh, something I was talking about in, uh, I think it was one of the last episodes of uh, DBZ, actually. Um, I was basically just uh, contemplating like games like Conker's Bad Fur Day and the Grand Theft Auto series and all that. And like they have iffy content and all that jazz. Oh, man. Come on, this is set point. And like when I, what, what I was saying, like what I was, I, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, and I decided that there's like like a game like Grand Theft Auto Vice City is, you know, it, it it it's bad. Like it has some really questionable themes. I mean, a lot of it has to do with coke and all that, and they're swearing and all that. But to be honest, I mean, yeah, it's rated M, and you can just murder people if you wanted to. But it's not all that bad, honestly. I mean, not in my opinion, at least. Like, I, I try to be nice, like, and I, I and I don't want to upset anybody, and I try to, like, kind of pander to what what uh, the viewers want more than anything, and I, I kind of think about that first rather than what my own game, per like, my personal game preference is. And while I don't mind that, like, it is just one of those things that, you know, some people really just don't like. And, I don't know, I just try to keep that in, in, in mind. But, like, I was just thinking, with a game like Grand Theft Auto Vice City, like, if I were to ever do a Let's Play of that, I would not feel bad. Because, uh, you know, there's, there, I mean, there's definitely some worse games out there. But it, it's just a matter of, like, to be honest, like, I'm at the point where I'm realizing that, like, if someone is honestly, like, that offended by, like, maybe something that, like, a Grand Theft Auto game would have to offer, granted there are some things that are just generally kind of offensive, but it's, it's a matter of maturity and being able to, like, just realize, A, it's a game and it's almost, it, it's just like a movie. It's like people who get angry at movies. It's like, these, these actors don't actually think this, it's just something to enhance the story and enhance character development and stuff like that. So, I, basically my whole point is, is I'm at the point where it's just like, if someone honestly is that offended by like maybe a Grand Theft Auto game and the content that it has and w refuses to watch it because they're just like too offended, then I kind of just don't want those type of people watching my stuff. Um, just, I mean, Comment something if you think I'm being a little too rash here, but it's just a matter of, like, sucking it up and realizing, hey, it's just a game. It, like, it's just for effect. I don't know. Oh, man, this is, like, just barely over. This is, like, 12 minutes now. Man, I'm, I probably shouldn't have spent so much time just pointing out the fact that, like, I had Yoshi and Birdo. I might have been able to get it under the time. 
But anyway, game set and match, and there is the Star Cup for you all. Um, I guess I'll just make this into two, like, seven or six and a half minute videos or something like that. And I'll cut it at a good spot. But I have some uh, playing to do. A lot of playing, actually, before I can record again. Because I need the Planet Cup and the Star Cup. And we get to enjoy this one last time. Also, um, another thing that you could comment in this video uh, is um, you've seen the 16 characters that are there. Um, just let me know out of those 16 characters and I'll flash it once on the screen. Like I'll go and look at it real quick one more time. Um, just let me know, besides Waluigi, who you would like me to play as in the uh, longer cups. Um, chances are, even if it's voted in, I'm not going to play, to play as Paratroopa or Boo, because I just don't really like playing as Tricky, but, um, yeah, here they all are, and, uh, yeah, if you want to give a comment and look, but, so we have six out of six, uh, we have eight, ten, we have ten out of sixteen, so only six more to go, and some of them are already started, so, um, until next time, when we begin the Rainbow Cup, I am Paper Mario Guy. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to comment on those things that I was talking about during this last two episodes. And uh, yeah, see you for whenever I see you next. Bye.